Here's a demo of the calibration command for the laser rangefinder module. Right now I just have the module connected to a USB to serial adapter which is connected directly to uh, my PC that has a, uh, the parallax serial terminal running on it. Um, for every laser rangefinder module, because of the manufacturing tolerances of the uh, laser diode and the camera, uh, we need to do a calibration step to calculate the slope and intercept values that we're going to use um, to help determine range from the module to the target object. So in this case, I'm using the wall for calibration distance. And uh, what I'm going to do is connect up to the, uh, to the device. And I have the colon. I'm ready to go. I'm going to hit X, which starts the calibration routine. It says set LRF to distance of 20 centimeters and press any key or X to abort. So basically, I run through a number of different distances and the calibration routine uh, right now cycles from 20 centimeters all the way up to 70 centimeters with a 10 centimeter step size and uh, we take measurements at each stage. So I've placed the, uh, the module at 20 centimeters and then I hit any key and the rangefinder takes four measurements at each distance and that's basically just to get a better average um, as it's measuring the pixels from center of the primary blob um, at that distance. So it'll calculate an average um, and keep a running average and then calculate the slope and intercept. So I'm going to do that for the, uh, for the next distances as well. You can see here on the wall the laser rangefinder taking four measurements. I move it back. And the calibration has to be very precise. So when we have the test jig set up um, for production, we want to make sure that the distances are actually a, a, as exact as possible. Uh, because even just a small offset during calibration can really affect the, uh, the distances, um, especially at further distances away, at the longer distances. So I'm going to finish taking the, the calibrations. Now it says, 60 centimeters. So it's really it's really interactive, which is good and um, pretty pretty simple. And then what happens once all of the values are collected is it calculates the slope and intercept, uh, and also a value called PFC min, which is the the minimum number of pixels from center uh, that's allowed for the unit, and that corresponds to the maximum distance, which I have limited right now uh, to a, a, a hundred inches, because um, anything past that really is just not. Um, very accurate with this uh, this method of range finding. So the three values are calculated, slope, intercept, and the PFC min, and those are stored um, in the uh, boot serial double EEPROM. So I have a 64 kilobyte double EEPROM on the laser range finder, and the propeller is only using 32K as it's designed to, so I have 32K of additional storage space. So I'm storing those values in the range finder, so if we reload the code or the user upgrades the firmware or whatever, those calibration values will still be there. And then you can always verify that the, that uh, verify what the current slope and intercept in PFC min is. If you hit the V for version information, uh, we can see down here the values that it grabs from the double EEPROM. So now we're calibrated and we're good to go and ready to use the laser rangefinder.